fellow Swerve. But this time, let's do something different, okay? So uh, here on our channel, we're doing repairs. But as I'm a fan of Breaking Bad, I'm thinking to do something different on this video. I will say, let's uh, replicate the explosive device which Walter White built on the season uh, four in uh, order to kill uh, Gus Fring. Yeah? He used the Salamanca to, to kill him, which is an iconic scene uh, from Breaking Bad. Now, I try hard to find like uh, Okie Toki with 9 volts battery, like we seen on, on the video, but I couldn't find it. So all uh, those Okie Toki from those days, they have, uh, they are either rechargeable or they have like AAA or AA batteries. Now let's analyze the, the movie. As you can see on the movie, uh, for me it doesn't really make sense. I mean, okay, Okie Toki. Is this making sense? But it should be a pair of okie-dokie. And here we have a okie-dokie and uh, on the other side we have a board. Yeah? And you can see it's a custom board. Probably made by a special effects team. And the board, if you look closely, it doesn't really make sense. I mean the board is using a 9 volts battery, but on the board we can see four powerful MOSFETs. I mean those MOSFETs should be like 100 amps each. And the battery can drain out on only a few hundred milliamps. So it doesn't really make sense. But if you check the next frame, you will see actually the battery looks a little, a little bit different. I mean, it doesn't really look like a 9 volts battery. So I suppose they swap the battery using a low voltage and high amperage battery. Anyway, for what we are doing today, we are trying to replicate. Okay, in order to replicate the, the scene, we have a okie talkie and uh, we're gonna open one, yeah? And from the other one, we're gonna use as a remote. Now, what's the plan? The plan is we are opening one, we are searching for a signal, yeah? So usually the squelch uh, signal or the mute signal from the audio amplifier of this okie talkie should give us some voltage when the other uh, the other radio is uh, the button is pushed yeah we're gonna use that signal amplify the signal and uh, we will try to use like a big capacitor something like that uh, something like that so you're gonna charge the capacitor and then we're gonna discharge when the capacitor is reaching a certain voltage we're gonna discharge the capacitor on um, explosive uh, on a mini explosive uh, capsule yeah so how are we gonna do that so we're gonna use a light bulb we're gonna crack the glass and uh, if you crack the glass as soon as you apply the voltage the filament yeah the wire it will get hot around the 2000 3000 degrees celsius yeah we can ignite the tip of the of the matches, yeah? So we can build something nice, just to look like a bomb, okay? So I will say, you know, let's start it. Let's open one and uh, try. The hard part is to find the signal. Actually, when I press here to get some voltage on that wire. Okay, so we find the signal we are looking for, okay? Let's, uh, let's have a look closely, yeah? So here we have the audio IC, okay? This is the audio IC, the audio amplifier, sorry. Now, let me come with the ground. We have the multimeter on screen, we have. Let me come with the ground here on this pin, yeah? Okay, so pay attention here, pay attention here. Pressing the PDT button. Check the voltage on the on the screen. Five volts, you can see. So basically, this is the probably the signal for the mute. And I do have here more signals I can get. Here we have three volts. So when I push the the, the button on this one, we have three volts. So I'm happy. I finally found what I was looking for. Now the next to build 
Okay, all done, yeah, all done. So pay attention here. We have the capacitor. We have no voltage. You check the multimeter, yeah? Now we are pressing this one, yeah? Check what happened with the voltage. Because that's the idea to replicate how you push the button a few times before uh, it explodes yet, yeah? That's the idea. We have 4.2 volts, but here the current is very high. I mean, probably I can spark it. Uh, you can't see. Anyway, this current should be enough to blow up our igniter. Yeah. So now all what we need, we need a MOSFET. And uh, I believe we will be soon ready for test. So we finish our bomb, okay? Instead of the igniter, I use a light bulb just to simulate. I try different configurations. So, <laughs> you know, just experimenting because I don't want this to be on off because uh, we'll have to break this and use only the, the filament, yeah? The filament will burn quickly on the air. So I want low voltage coming inside of this. So let's test it, yeah? Maybe we should try change a little bit the timing and boom. Yeah, we have the we ha we ha we have the light. That's mean the bomb exploded already. Okay, so all what we need now. Yeah, I replace the battery. Uh, I use a MOSFET uh, to open the, the light bulb. At center dial the capacitor. Just a basic schematic, nothing complicated. Yeah. But this is quite simple. So in movie, I'm pretty sure that's real. It's not worth to do like a CGI uh, when actually you can do it so simple. Uh, this is one time boom. So in order to use it again, we have to discharge the capacitor. Okay. Now let's build our igniter. Yeah, because this will be a little bit of work here. You know what, I ask my wife, uh, do we still have fireworks from the new year? And she said no, so we have to use this. I mean, it'll be more smoky instead of, uh, you know, like a boom, like a tiny boom. But still, it'll do the job, like visual effect. We got a little bit, just enough to make a little bit of smoke. Now let's build the igniter. So everyone is ready. Okay, so we have the light bulb. Hopefully the filament is still good. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's still good. You can see it? Tiny, tiny. Yeah. So we are fine. All what we need now is to put it all back together. Perfect. Looks good. Okay, all done. We fill up the tube with uh, the matches tip, yeah? Now let's test it. Okay, now let's solder the detonator, the igniter, sorry. Let's solder the igniter. The problem is everything what is going wrong now 
this will it will blow up here on my hand. Okay, so one more wire. It didn't blow up. It didn't blow up. So uh, we should replicate now. We should use this to ignite. Uh, So you ready? You sure you're ready? Let's see. Wow! 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 That was impressive. I can't believe. And look, my igniter is still on and got burned. Wow! I can't believe. <laughs> it worked. So that's how the that's how the 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 special effects are uh, are made. Quite simple. I mean. Let's, let's be honest, it's just electronics. Wow. So it's working. I mean, even if I go probably a few miles away, I will still be able to detonate this. Breaking Bad is quite, uh, you know, a nice uh, serial. Wow. I done it. <laughs> I always wish to you know, to build something like that. Okay, of course, don't replicate something like that. This is just for entertainment. But we done it. We done it. That's what is important. We replicate the Walter White uh, bomb. Okay, so I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.